Every power you can think of, just know that he could probably do it. Feet run over. <laughs> I'm just playing. But how strong a document had an overpowered character. I didn't think I would ever go over it, but let's get it. But before we get right into it, thanks a lot for the donations, y'all. It really helps out a lot. Believe it or not, Dr. John Osterman was a lowly lab technician. He was caught in a radioactive particle test. What's up with these little scientific tests making these beings godlike? Heck, even being godlike is generous. He's powerful and very intelligent, but he grew to become emotionally distant towards people. In the accident, then he was completely disintegrated at least in his physical sense right even though he didn't have a body a form of electromagnetic pattern resembling consciousness survived and was able in time to build an approximation of the body it had lost after mastering his powers when flash changed universe timeline he felt that change and went to dc multiverse manipulating everything and preparing for its future yeah he can do a lot of crazy stuff in the rebirth and all that nonsense i don't know how a scientific accident can give you reality warping but he can save Jorel via reality warping saving superman's dad david explained his power of being able to bend reality to his very whim talking about dr manhattan Jorel. he created a place to show Jorel all the horrible things humans have done the history of man a never-ending cascade of heroic atrocities one after another showing nothing's improving if anything technology allowed me to become a more efficient killer he made a place beyond the confines of space and time night night flashpoint made a ring of blue fire to transport those on the ring somewhere else. He's so godlike, he can just end everything because he freaking wants to. No, this is not a black screen that I made. This is what it actually looks like on the panel. He has the godlike power to just return it to how it was before he interfered with the event. Godlike on top of godlikeness. I'm just saying. How does a scientific experiment make you this powerful? I'm just saying. He's also disintegrated Metron and the Owl Man before. Changes his appearance, right? By shifting the light's color frequencies around him. He's literally treated our favorite heroes like their jokes during the Doomsday Clock event, stuff like that. He's just on a totally different lead from our other favorite heroes. Yep, more occasions of that, like doing this to Guy Gardner's ring, absorbing the ring, and destroying the ring. Simple as that. As powerful as he is, he's not even really a magical being, but check this out. He got blasted by magical attacks is confused about it and then instantly learns it and then <laughs> uses magic he even said it feels good to still learn so even he doesn't know everything but he's just still on a totally different league from all the leaguers flash aquaman all your favorite heroes are fighter even satana even etrigan Guinness fighter compared to him too much raw power heck that is even swamp thing right there poor first flash got burnt half his body got burnt literally killing the reverse flash by doing this that's his perspective yeah just yeah he can literally create milk literally creates water while they're on mars he can literally give you an oxygen field well, he gave her an oxygen field so she can interact with dr manhattan which is chilling in this little palace on mars speaking of palace on mars like he's literally chilling on mars and he creates a fortress on mars um, on some complete loner type stuff shaping his own place as such he could change the gun into steam or the bullets into mercury or the bottle into snowflakes. You could have teleported either of us to god dang Australia. Extreme levels of matter manipulation basically. This reminds me of the scene in the Watchmen where he created his own fortress. Tell me that isn't reminiscent. Talk about being the king of battlefield removal. He like teleported these protesters home. He can teleport you out of a government facility. Teleported Lori to California. Sends the audience away if they get annoying they just teleport to mars when he feels like it let's face it he probably has flight but he just spams the teleportation like why fly when you just teleport there instantaneously sent Jorel to earth for example teleports himself to a bank right causes a man's finger to float and levitate <laughs> Ugh. teleporting like the time he saved this comedian's life by teleporting him out of the ocean. It doesn't seem like he has a limit on how many folk he can teleport to himself at once. I mean heck he even went to his universe and caused some plants to grow just by walking. He has extremely top tier time manipulation. He can create a disruption deep within the temporal nanostructure of the timeline. Disturbing one of the fundamental forces of reality effortlessly is a big deal because it was like universal stakes. The Flashpoint Paradox was supposed to be retconned. It was supposed to be an alternate history that shouldn't exist anymore because that stuff got changed and stuff. Dr. Manhattan has the power to keep that universe running, showing his higher dimensional power. Because why not? Let's travel to 1948. Traveling from 1956 to traveling to 1986 because he can. He's analyzing in different times. His ships is crashed rival changes yet again and again makes plants grow yet again evidently changes his own past and gives a kid all his power his cosmic awareness is crazy he knows his past present and even future all at once it's like nothing can really shock him really like he's telling the audience his story here you can see it or pause it if you have to 
panel for panel. I mentioned how he got in a lab accident early in the vid, revisiting the path here. For example, on how he got disintegrated, started reforming into muscles and etc. To where he regenerated all the way to his peak, becoming Dr. Manhattan. He's analyzing supernovas. On too many occasions, literally going through history through time, 1960, as you can see, meeting different folk throughout 1966, 1959, years with Watchmen, interfering with wars and etc. Booyah, bada bing, bada bomb, history with the Watchmen, right? Telling his old story. Another implication of kind of being higher dimensional, he kind of sees time differently than everybody. He's kind of bigger than time. You know what I mean? Like to him, there is no future. There is no past. Do you see? He even states time is simultaneous and intricately structured jewel that humans insist on viewing one edge at a time when the whole design is visible in every facet. He can read atoms. He can sense tachyons. This is a brain fart. He experiences the future the same time as the present. Like it even states here, excuse me, Rochette, I'm informing Lori 90 seconds ago. Like, wait a minute, what? Who says that? I'm informing you 90 seconds ago. You see what I'm saying? It's like he's omnipresent kind of, sort of. Experiencing things at the same time as him being out of that time frame. You know what I mean? He's above time. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Manhattan was literally watching outside of space and time, watching Barry change history to save his mom, showing that he succeeded. Reality was rewritten. And he said, forget it. Let me take away 10 years of history because I'm that powerful. It even states here. Someone outside of time watched it all happen. Someone saw history unravel when Barry first created the Flashpoint and when history was coming back together, they attacked. A darkness from somewhere has infected us. It has for a long time now. No one knows this but me. Oh yeah, he knows when you're pregnant. Nothing new under the sun for him. He knows when you lie about having cancer. He sees in his own future and he believes he could actually destroy everything because he can. Can destroy and did destroy everything like I showed earlier. He knows other beings future like Carver's future. For example, he explains how the universes work. The universe is constantly splitting into alternate timelines. The many worlds interpretation. It theorized that parallel worlds were endlessly created flowing out like our branches of a tree the heroes on this earth call it the multiverse and this world was its center he even pretty much confirmed that superman is the center of all this he said the world was introduced by superman on april 18 1938 he was the first of the costumed heroes the first of many on this world showing alice scott he's literally narrating this like a darren narrator arthur like how i'm narrating it to you guys telling the whole origin of the different beings than just society of america why is superman the center of this universe he actually explained it to the point one could say superman is literally the literal personification of hope right that's what the symbol he stands for it's not just a pun Forces such as anti have been responsible for the shifts in Superman's timeline. Dark directions seem to constantly target the hope he embodies in an effort to redefine him. He actually goes through like a universal experiment type thing. He says, as others have done, I move to reshape this universe so that I might see how it forms around Superman. I change the past to challenge the future. And as I watch reality crashing down, I realize that this universe is not a part of the multiverse as others believe. He even takes it a bit further by saying the multiverse reacts to this universe there have been endless parallel worlds none 52 dark multiverses are created by changes to this universe this universe stands apart from the multiverse it is the metaverse and it is in a constant state of change it's like letting you know that the future isn't set even if he can see the future it isn't set thanks to this universe being so complex and deep and as I remove the blank to the Justice Society of America, I change Superman once again. He's like testing the future based on this, this main universe. It's changing the constant futures that he's seeing. This center of reality is very important. And Superman is the center of this universe, which kind of can be one of the reasons why he has such plot favoritism. He is their poster boy, right? He even goes as far as telling Superman's future. He even states no matter how many times Superman's existence is attacked, he will survive. Even if change is constant because hope is the North Star of the metaverse. It is January 2026. The timeline is restored. It is June 17, 226. Superman goes on a quest to find Bruce Wayne's lost daughter so she can save Bruce's son. In July 10th, 2030, the secret crisis begins. Throwing Superman into a brawl across the universe with Thor himself and a green behemoth stronger than even doomsday who dies protecting superman from these invaders this right here is a hint towards a future crossover even crazy right whatever green behemoth like you know what i mean i mean all that stuff aside he's got telekinesis and phasing every power you can think of 
can grow really big is in three places at once like in that watchman movie for example i mean he casually dresses up with telekinesis for pete's sake levitates his fortress is on earth and mars simultaneously he even contemplates on thinking about making human life if he feels like it walks on water and up wall he gave some folks sunburn when he first reached form he be blasting folks like blasting his thug's head off when he was big again i mean hey he disintegrated roshad he gave himself a fortune now he takes away his fortune shields lori walking skeletal respiratory muscle system vaporizes and reform his power is even beyond mystic spitalic mixy is a five-dimensional being he even called Dr. Manhattan the ultimate architect of weirdness. Mixie, remember that he's a fifth dimensional being that transcends time on an infinite possibility. Transcending time over infinite universes and possibilities. Being above this guy is a huge statement. Dr. Manhattan being above this freak is retarded because Mixie is literally one with all all the infinite versions of himself throughout the multiverse all the different mixes you see on television cartoons it's all him it's the same him yeah he's a higher dimensional being he even goes as far as mentioning i was on the cartoon show he sees them as comic books like with the way we see comic books he sees them as fake fictional beings as well that's how top tier he is i'm not joking to mixie compared to mixie superman and our favorite heroes are literally drawings or spatially flat compared to them. Drawings on paper, like imagine your favorite drawing on the paper. No matter how strong that drawing on that paper gets, it can literally never actually hurt you for real. Even though these heroes exist in our world, they will be gods. But the fact that you're real and they're not makes it different. I know that's a brain fart, but think about it like that. That's how Mixie sees three-dimensional beings. He's five-dimensional. He's on a totally different level of space. No matter how strong a three-dimensional being gets, the 5D will be above. Like think of Jack Kirby, for example, right? He's an artist, drawer. He writes a lot of these stories that we love. So think about it right now. So say if he writes Superman storyline, right? He's still a drawing on paper, even though in his universe, in his comic, Superman can lift up planets, hold black holes, stuff like that. That's cool and all, right? But at the end of the day, guess what? He's still a drawing on paper compared to Jack Kirby. No matter how what feats he gets or how strong he gets, he's still fictional comparison to Jack Kirby because he's basically God in comparison, right? Since Mixie is a five-dimensional being, this is how Mixie sees our favorite heroes as flat little dimensional spatial drawings on paper in comparison that's how big he is in comparison to him you're probably thinking well isn't the universe like drawings on paper to him too well yes actually think of all the different universes that you all know of earth one earth infinity earth 96 earth 62 all the different universes think about all those dimensions Mixie is literally bigger than it literally bigger Mixie is so powerful it's hard to fathom really it's really a brain fart he's literally bigger than infinite yeah that sounds impossible but yeah he's a higher dimensional being bigger and more powerful than infinite timelines larger than infinite universes and dr manhattan's power is over him look at this Mixie literally sees them as drawings on paper like they're literally flat and dimensional in comparison to them more lore on Mixie. this is a place beyond length and width beyond depth and time a place where imagination is reality a place of magic imps can freely move through hyper time they even compare these our favorite powerhouse heroes to shadows on a wall he's so much higher above them he's literally holding him like a comic book paper in comparison to him it's hard to imagine your favorite heroes is such little things compared to dr manhattan and mixie even powerhouses like green lanterns are just paper compared to them i'm going back to this when he removed those 10 years he's kind of the reason why the new 52 even exists he's so above everything i'm gonna go back to this he experiences the reboots in the time stream but at the same time is unaffected by the reboots in the time stream showing the different time frames and how the ship is landing in different times superman's first appearance even changed he sees it all but he's unaffected by all these reboots he's everywhere in the universe and in time all at the same time happening all at the same time he's in 1985 on mars holding the photograph in his hand in 1959 leaving the intrinsic field chamber trapped inside the intrinsic field chamber he stayed look look at the image right here i am i am legion he exists in all these timelines universes all at the same freaking time like an actual literal deity 
Implied he can generate electricity as well. Imagine a lab accident incinerating you and making you higher than five dimensional beings. He even viewed an alternate timeline like I showed earlier of him actually living a happy life without ever being vaporized. You can like see all this stuff. Mixie man said, I would much rather take the kid and hit the road than deal with him. He's powerful enough to physically restrain our favorite powerhouses of the Justice League without much effort. It was stated that Dr. Manhattan is brimming with connective energy he himself tried to mend the fractures in our multiverse to heal the scars of former crises this is important because the connective this energy is the opposite of the crisis energy that perpetua uses the mother of the multiverse this is impressive because perpetua was able to hold the entire multiversal structure in her hands mother of the multiverse right one can say dr manhattan is in the same league with even the almighty being known as perpetua herself and this dude made shazam's lightning attacks hit them back block stealth fires attacks every attack they hit on him he just simply says interesting very interesting combined attack even with captain Adam, big explosion. They thought they won, but he even says, what are you hoping to accomplish? Like it ain't nothing to him. Even though it's weird that he became a higher dimensional being from a simple scientific accident, comics did a all right job in explaining how this could come to be though. Kind of fracturing his timeline to infinite alternate reality, therefore spreading himself out through past, present, and future, living all these universes simultaneously, being one being at the same time. They explain it like this. The only way this could happen, the only way one quantum reality could splinter and fracture into an infinite number of possibilities with me at the center, as if I somehow became the quantum observer. He states at some point, I I did something saw or touched something that tore this quantum reality and created another the effect then ripped back and forth along my timeline from the moment of my recreation creating new realities every time i made a decision but how when did i when i changed the outcome i imagined that i simply changed the future creating a new set of events and potentialities in the instant between what might have been and what now was i assume that the future me that would have worked with roshak simply ceased to exist overwritten by me that would work with laurie that loved laurie it never occurred to me that both timelines would become equally real splintering reality in both directions past and future in using my power to bend reality to my will i ensured that my choices my will would begin to form new pocket realities with every whim he comes up with the conclusion that since he's the quantum observer every time he made a choice it fractured reality over and over so the only way to re reunite the timelines is by erasing those choices so he wants to re reunite the timelines by erasing those choices he did and so he does so in a cluster f <laughs> edited replay he states i am limitless and states so i must freeze that moment that eternity like a fly frozen in amber like my mother i must give up all of my wishes so that they can make of this reality what they wish oh yeah by the way he states i'm the most powerful being in the known universe i can do anything and a portion of dr manhattan's power is one of the reasons why the batman who laughs was so powerful <laughs> during the death metal crazy epic multiversal event type of thing you know what i mean so if you wanted to he could blast away infinite universes <laughs> is that simple but what do you guys think post your comments down below let me know what you all think i find it crazy that he just crossed over from another universe to the main dc universe because he can higher dimensional omnipresent being up there with perpetual one of the few beings that probably could take on true self dark side post your comments down below let me know what you all think respect dr manhattan you have to right